Hi, I'm Randy from CampingAndFishingCalifornia.com and today we're here in Hart Bar Campground which is in the mountains of San Bernardino, Southern California and today we're going to do a review for you and this review is on the Jayco Alante 31V V as in Victor. Now on the internet, Google, Bing and YouTube, you're going to find a lot of videos, a lot of reviews but they're from dealerships this review is from an actual owner we bought this about two months ago and we're only on our fourth little short trip still working out the bugs but today we wanted to bring you this review so thanks for joining us and today I'm going to enlist the help of my wife Patty so this is the Jayco Alante 31V and you'll see it's got two slide outs perfectly placed and underneath those you'll see compartments look at all these compartments in a few moments I'm gonna open those compartments up and we're gonna go take a look but we're just gonna walk around and like I said we're up in heart bar so you're gonna have a lot of trees and brush and a lot of other scenery there but uh, look at the paint job on that thing. By the way, this Elante is a full body paint. So those are not decals, they're full body paint. Cost about uh, $8,000 more, but you know what? They're not gonna, you're not gonna have all that degrading decal like you get on some vehicles, um, RVs. They degrade after a time and really tough to keep, keep in good shape. On the back, you'll see that uh, blue ox there highly recommend the blue ox by the way we love it it's so easy to hitch up and to unhitch it's such a breeze there you can see we have the awning out uh, more compartments down here all along wow it's amazing um, so you'll see this side no slide outs on this side just two on the other side but look at that full body paint look how pretty that thing is wow and I don't mean to be bragging. <laughs> so there you go, that's the outside. Now we're gonna go take a look at the inside. Well, I do wanna also mention this outside RV Entertainment Center. This thing is really, really cool. As you can see, it's got two speakers and those speakers are very, very potent. You guys would really be surprised how loud those things get and crystal clear without distortion. Just amazing. Over here underneath this right speaker, you'll see there's an outlet, which is really good because I carry a, a small compressor and occasionally want to check my tires. So all I have to do is just fire up that sweet generator, plug in the um, the uh, compressor and check my tires. Now over on this side under the, the left speaker you'll see the stereo and this thing is hooked up to the 12 volt side so that it's hot all the time. Um, you don't have to uh, turn the generator on or plug into an outlet. Um, it's hot all the time so you can sit here and, and just enjoy the outside and listen to some really good tunage. Um, I, I have plugged in my USB, I plugged in my iPod, I plugged in my phone, I've tried a CD, everything works on this really nicely. Um, just a great, great entertainment center. And while we're talking about this rig, I just want to let you know, um, I, I have to put in a, a word, a good word for Richardson's RV in Riverside because um, they were easy to deal with. Our salesman was just awesome. Um, but even better is the service center. We've had to go in a, a few times to get a few warranty issues taken care of. And the manager down there is, is um, I think Enrique is the manager of the service center. I can't remember, but I think Enrique is. But Stephen's been dealing with us, and Stephen has just been taken care of us like there's no tomorrow all the guys down there are just um, they're all family and um, they really really treat you good so if you're anywhere in Southern California you got to hit Richardson's on Indiana and Riverside just the best place and we've been dealing with these guys for years because this is our second or third rig from these guys so um, just uh, just a word out for those guys a shout out for those guys Actually, I'm going to uh, open up those compartments so we can take a look at all this room you have to put your things. 
So I wanted to start out with the engine compartment because it's really amazing. I've seen engine compartments that were just jammed full of stuff on RVs, but look at this. You have the your um, coolant right there. You have your your uh, dipstick and and fill for your auto trans. Um, you have um, your batteries right down here. Look how easy it is to get to the batteries. Is that amazing or what? Down there you've got your windshield wiper uh, fluid. And up there you have your oil fill above the trans stick. And uh, look at how easy that is to get to. There's your uh, air filter right there, your breather. Um, your windshield wiper, yeah, we saw that. And then there's your dipstick for your oil. And a lot of harnessing and everything there. So around the corner, the first compartment is a smaller compartment. Use it for lighter weight stuff, and I use it for Lynx levelers. I do like to carry those, even though I'm a I'm in a motorhome now. There's a light you can see. Um, how cool is that? And all the compartments have these lights. Just rich, boy. Just rich. Look at this uh, Cummins owning 4,000 now. If you have two air conditioners on a unit, this will be a uh, little bit larger, owning either a 4,400 uh, 4, or a 5,000, I think possibly a 5,000. So there's your owning quality generators. Um, now here's something I wanted to show you. As you look down inside, you'll see that you can see all the way through this compartment has a pass-through so you can put canopies ladders tools brooms all kinds of stuff like that shovels again looks like some of the stuff's kind of falling over a little bit <laughs> but there's another pass-through right there you can see so uh, just really cool to have two pass-throughs amazing how much stuff you can get in there then here's your compartment for um, your plumbing and uh, you can see your downspout for your uh, black and gray tank. And uh, you can actually see a stabilizer behind that. And it uh, looks like a black tank right there. So over here in this compartment, you have your water connections. Everything you have to do with filling your tanks and uh, taking an outside shower. Um, you can see the, the cable right there for uh, if you want to pull into an RV park and plug in the cable up there and you have access to your water pump out here again another light switch up there just really cool oh and there's the air filter back there or oil, um, water filter back there that comes with the unit and then here's the back compartment I can you can see I put a little shelf in there to kind of separate but that's where your um, electric cord is and and uh, it's got a little hatch that g goes down through the bottom for when you want to hook it up um, in an RV park or something like that where you have hookups the back end of it there's the blue ox which I highly recommend if you're going to tow a vehicle wow that is just rich so easy to hook up so easy to unhook you'll really really appreciate it then again another compartment on the other side for lightweight stuff where I carry my um, oh, my rags and my cleaning material and some uh, some mats and then another compartment and Here's your battery and your LP compartment. And I um, just wanted to show you the batteries. Um, I upgraded to two six volts and uh, very easy to do. They're a little bit heavier, so got to watch your back a little bit. What I did have to do is take and pop the rivets out of these and put flush headed bolts on the other side coming through to give enough room to put the six volts in but highly recommend you going to Costco and getting your six volt batteries or if you have the cash do the Trojans and there's where you um, uh, put hydraulic fluid in for your uh, levelers when you run a little bit low and again your LP tank and then again the, the compartments on the other side with the pass-throughs that's sweet isn't it okay and uh, then the front compartment and uh, that's it now next I want to go inside and uh, my wife is going to show you some of the stuff she really likes about the inside so here we are inside the Jayco Alante 31V and this is my favorite part because I like to drive this thing although my wife is really starting to enjoy driving it herself so guys this thing is so easy to drive you may lose the pilot seat okay 
uh, but here you can see the the dash and and the console and everything um, there right there is my favorite part of the whole thing because that is an auto leveling system and it's just one or two buttons and you're leveled off and no more jacking things up putting wood under tires and things like that uh, another thing that I love is that button over to the left I don't know if you can see it but, but it says up shade button or up shade and what that does is there's a shade up here that goes up and down and instead of having um, any kind of other uh, apparatus to, to shade out the sun this thing comes way down and you can actually get it down almost that low while you're driving they may have to adjust it at the service center but it is cool at nighttime it totally blocks everything out so you have total privacy so love that shade and then the other thing before I hand you over to my wife is I love this radio right now I have a, a flash drive in it a little memory stick and I'm playing things off of the memory stick um, when I drive sometimes I forget to to bring the memory stick and so I'll just take and Bluetooth my phone to it with music on it and there's a setting on this to where you can pull the audio off your phone and listen to music on your phone while you're driving so a lot of really cool things you also right here you have a generator start button so you can start your generator from up here and run the air conditioner while you're driving you can actually run the big air conditioner and really cool it off real nice for you so without further ado and uh, we'll talk about uh, the go power solar panel right now <laughs> this is something that did not come with the unit but we did have put on extra it's the go power um, and that's the controller for it but there's a 160 watt solar panel on top and I cannot recommend this thing enough it keeps us totally charged off we were down at the beach last week for four or five days of overcast weather and it still kept us topped off all day every day so just a wonderful thing to have even in overcast weather is this go power 160 watt uh, solar panel and of course you got to have this great controller panel with it too so let's go see what my wife's doing and folks this is patty my sweetheart i'm the wife and Hi. she is gonna show you what she likes about okay. this he's unit. told you all the things the guys like all the outdoor stuff and the big tanks wonderful for boondogging and stuff i'll show you the stuff that i love indoors we looked at every model of motorhome this was our perfect motorhome first of all in the front the seats are wonderful. They're very cushy. They recline backwards. If you're at the beach, you can look out the front or you can look out the window if when you turn them backwards. They're great for watching TV, the captain's chair is. Big, huge windshield. I don't know, that's the biggest window shell in the industry from what I understand. It's absolutely huge. Everybody who walks in here is surprised at how big it is. Mm -hmm. um, we had a handrail in, on, um, added yes. to it. The coach didn't come with one didn't cost much service center put it in highly recommend that what I love counter space we've had a lot of trailers but I have never had so much counter space that I didn't have to like put things on top of the sink or have the stove open or closed so that I had it I can bake cookies I can do anything in here that I can do in my regular kitchen at home TVs up here it's perfect because you can view from the chairs or the couch or the dining set um, so much cabinet space. Yeah, I've got a cabinet here and it opens here. I've got some, I can't believe how much stuff I can get in here. I've got all my drawers. I've got my pots and pans. Um, I store my cookie sheets in my oven, which I've always done. I've got cabinet space here and these are very deep cabinets. They're very solid wood too. I mean, it's not inexpensive whatsoever. Up here we have our DVD and the splitter, all the technical stuff that's needed to run the TV set. We have a TV set in here in the bedroom and the outside entertainment too. And we added small inverters mm -hmm. to make the TVs work. This unit does not come with the super duper big inverter that a lot of the higher industry motorhomes have. So we have an inverter here and one in there and it works just perfect. 
Another great thing we didn't expect was when we saw that we had an overhead bed, we thought it would be great for the grandkids when they come camping with us. But since the grandkids are still pretty little and we worry about them falling out, for now we use it for storage. After we've arrived, we'll lower it a little bit. We put our guitar cases up mm -hmm. there, my extra storage bags and stuff. And it's just great because it keeps all the stuff that we used to have to move around in our trailer out from underfoot big windows. This over here is the biggest window I've ever seen. In all the motorhomes we looked at, it's the best. I'll say something about frameless windows if you're concerned about it. We did not like frameless windows simply because yeah, we did not, not think all. there would be enough air circulation. Mm. And we really considered buying used for that reason. However, this is our fourth camping trip in all different kinds of weather. And even though they only open a little bit, you do get a cross ventilation. You get a breeze in here, which is just perfect. I mean, we are so pleasantly surprised. We mm -hmm. have no complaints whatsoever. No. <laughs> here are the kitchen. There's storage under both of these benches, and it's, I store like extra water, extra shoes, or blankets, or whatever stuff that I don't access often. This fridge is, I think it's eight cubic feet compared to the eight six cubic, cubic yeah. that I used to have in my trailers. You've got pantry space. I can't believe I have pantry space and all the cupboard space up there. When you work your way back here, there's a light in the shower. I keep my a little linen clothes hamper in here in my shower. That's where we keep our, our dirty clothes. Mm -hmm. And you have the shower door. Best part of my, one of my favorite parts of the motorhome, in my bathroom, I have a window. What woman doesn't want to oh. have more light when she puts her makeup on? It is nice. <laughs> it's nice and airy and it's bright in here. Great thing about the frameless windows that we have, because they're tinted, nobody can see you in here. No. Unless it's nighttime and the light's on, then you definitely want to shut the window. But it's great. And, German, and the, show them the medicine cabinets. Oh, and the medicine cabinets are absolutely huge. I mean, you've got, I mean, just... I mean, excuse our mess, but that's a ton of stuff. We've got storage down here, towel space down here. The only thing I'm working on is I want to somehow get a little towel rack in here, mm. one bigger than that, but okay. I, that's on my things to-do list. Right. Um, the bed is terribly comfortable. I mean, it really is comfortable. We store extra blankets and quilts on top. Underneath, um, it's not a full underneath on the bed. I'm not going to pull it up because it'll mess up my bed. <laughs> but there's only a section about this big where you can store. We have heavy-duty sleeping bags. Right. And it's, it's, again, stuff that we don't hardly ever use, mm -hmm. but it's there. Um, yep. I've got more there's cabinet Mr. Buddy. space. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's our Mr. Buddy that we use for yep. heating if we're not mm -hmm. running the, the big forest here. Tons of closet space. He's got this side. I've got that side. We've got so many drawers for our clothes. I have extra drawers that I store um, extra toilet paper and my makeup. What I can't fit in the bathroom, <laughs> I put in here. And that's our TV. Mm -hmm. And oh, we also have a fantastic fan here. Oh, yeah, there's storage there's back there as well. There's a storage behind with the, with the uh, inverter. But the fa fantastic fan is really nice at night too because you can blow the air suck it in and blow on you or you can suck it out and blow it through the windows out through the vent yep. so all in all this is like one to ten this is like a ten there's or the more there's controllers right behind you oh yeah here's the controllers for the fan and for the slide yep. and i could mm -hmm. not love this motorhome anymore and that's just from a woman's perspective it's not the corian countertops and all that which is not what i wanted this is one that I'm comfortable living in, and it's big enough and it has enough storage space and a countertop. I can actually decorate it a little bit. <laughs> yep. Couldn't be happier with my motorhome. All right. One other thing, we're kind of nerds, and on all the years we've had different trailers and such, such whenever we've bought one, we've always taken all of those owner's manuals and stuff that they give you that you can never find. We have always put them in a notebook. We have the current year brochure tucked in the front, and every 
piece of literature they give you, we've tucked in this notebook, and believe me, over the years it's come in very, very yeah, handy. All the warranties and all the, the manuals, warranties yeah. and the manuals, everything is in here, and it's a great resource if you're out in boondocking or something, and something breaks, you can call the manufacturer because you have their phone number there, and you know where to look for problems. Right. Anyway, that's it. I love it. Hi, and just to show you how roomy it is in here, I will put this slide out. Yeah, we've been doing this whole thing with the slide out in because we wanted to show you how much room there was to walk back and forth. But now we're taking the slide out out. Now look at how much room there is. And those are our best campers. That's Kaylee and that's, oh, that's Sophie. Kaylee. This couch slides out into a bed. This breaks down into a bed and it has been grandchild proof because we had a grandma and grandpa sleepover yep. not too long yep. after we got it. Just a couple other things that I forgot to mention to you. In the hallway is where most of our control panel, that's what we call it here, would be. We've got the generator stop. My husband had mentioned there was one on the dash. Well, here's one too. Uh, we push it in the down position for 10, kind of prime it, and then start the generator here. We've got a readout for the hours that are set on the generator. Here we've got our tank monitor which gives us an idea how we're doing because primarily we boondock. We've got the water pump you can turn on and off. We've also got a water heater that is used for LP or electric and here's the buttons you push to find out how much charge we are, how much fresh we've got, black, we're doing good on black, doing good on gray. We've got our thermostat when we run our heater. Occasionally we run our forced air unit but really for, because we boondock so much and rely on our propane, we have a little buddy heater that I think we pointed out to you in the bedroom that we use. It works off of little five pound canisters that we the absolutely one, one pounders. Oh, yeah. one pounder can mm -hmm. canisters. Sure. And then here's the button for the slide out, for oh. the front slide out in and out yeah. right here. And so everything pretty much is grouped together in this section and then they're also at the front section when you come in the door mm -hmm. for the solar. Something I forgot to mention is the motorhome has MCD shades, and I didn't realize that when we first bought the motorhome. I remembered the old yucky shades from like the 50s and 60s that didn't work, but apparently these MCD shades are the new cool thing to have in motorhomes. Down with the mini blinds that are dust catchers and the fabric ones that go up and down that the strings break on, they don't have those. These are wonderful, and so far have worked great. They black everything out, they cut down on the heat, so we're very, very happy with that. Last thing I forgot to say is the size of tanks I mentioned my husband was so concerned with. The fresh water is 72 gallons, I believe, and the gray water is 40 gallons, and the black water is 50 gallons. And so it makes for a nice boondocking experience since we hardly ever go to hookups. <laughs> And so it's bigger and better than most of the other motorhomes around. We've actually gotten 12, 10 to 12 days off, yeah, of, yeah. off of a tank of, or off of a black water tank. Yeah, we've, before done, we've done really well. We've honed it down where we can go. It's, of course, it's just the two of us, but we can go easily 10 days um, in our trailer, which had slightly smaller tanks than this yeah. one does. So that's our review. I hope you enjoy it. We frantically looked on the internet trying to find a review on this particular model before we bought it and so we couldn't find one so here's one i hope it helps you and that's it from randy and patty my husband's website campingandfishingcalifornia.com